Hey guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So we're at the beach, about to do the main quest and see Mercurio's here. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Well, thank you, Mercurio. Uh, what has set Great M Mercury by the waters? I just wanted to make sure you knew my appreciation. And like I said before, someone needs something, I can get it. This boat, for example. Mm hmm how fleet your feet, Mercury. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I need some nasty little toys. Alright, I don't think I need anything. Cool, thanks, Mercurio. <laughs> so, uh... Let's... I guess go. Do I just jump in the boat? Yeah, okay, I guess I do. I don't like this quest. Um, just because it's... It requires a lot of stealth, so I will be saving a lot, because uh, uh, if you want to do it right, you have to be stealthy. Okay, so let's be super stealthy and try not to get caught, because I can't kill anybody, and if I ca get caught, well, it's kind of all over there. Alright, so what do I have to do? <laughs> Why am I here? You need to go to the- Oh, I did that. You are to examine the Ankara and sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered, and take the cargo manifest for the ship, and don't kill anyone. Alright. So. Guess we'll go this way. I'm stuck. Okay. I have no blood packs. Oh well. Alright, what's in here? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so somehow to get in here. Uh, and I'm not allowed to kill this guy. Oh! Jeez! No, what are you doing? Dang it. <laughs> Scared me when he turned around. I should have saved right for the door. Okay, I'll get back to that guy, and then we'll continue. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna do something a little different here. Yo, oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's gotta start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's gonna send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Uh, uh, see in me a vision of Jacobson's corrupt crony. Take it easy, Lois Lane. This is still a badge you're talking to. Uh, where are our hands in this business? All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where does my path lead? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. <laughs> Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Clarity is not my goblet of real Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? 
Dilly and Dally are strange bedfellows. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? I shall sail toward this beautiful beacon. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. I think I remember. Okay. Let's throw down a quick save. And let's get going. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? Okay. What is this? I didn't notice this was here. Cool. That works. I will take the ship's manifest. Alright, so let's go back. Um. Hmm. So I've got the manifest, a police report. I know I have to examine the sarcophagus. So, I'm just gonna try something. We're gonna save again. Okay, so now the room's clear. So we can hit up the computer and we're going to go... Uh, I guess we'll go reports first. Uh, weather... Okay, and status. Engines off, deck cams off, locks locked. Okay, so the deck cams are off, so that's good. Let's go log. He said the password was lighthouse. What did it say? I didn't read it. Didn't he say it was lighthouse? Password failed. Okay. Is control? If I could spell. Okay, so... I already got into records. What if I start engines? <laughs> Hang on. I don't know why I wouldn't- I don't- Nah. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Um... So... My hacking is at four. And... Wits and perception, and I don't... Think. Oh, maybe... Okay, we're gonna try something. Nope. Okay, well, whatever, that's fine. Ah, uh, because we already have the manifests. So now we have to find the sarcophagus. Cannot go through this door? Guess not. Try not to get caught. Can't go through that door either. Wait a minute. What? Okay, so there's an officer there, but there's an- Hmm... Did 
There's another way around. I know there is. Uh, did I miss a door in here? Okay, let's try this door. Is this not a door? <laughs> what is with these doors? Yeah, open. Pretty sure this door is supposed to open. Oh, I just clipped through the door. <laughs> oh, okay, what? I don't think that's supposed to be swinging like that. But that's fine. <laughs> So we are probably going to- I think there's a guy right under me. So we- hang on, let me see if I can get- oh, guess not. What is in here? Wreckage room. Alright, so let's start our sneaking. Let me just make as much noise as I possibly can. So you go over there. Oh, he saw me. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. This is probably gonna happen a lot, so... Be prepared, guys. Oops. I don't know what that was about. So he's gonna go over there, right? There he goes. I'm gonna throw on obfuscate just to- yeah, because that guy showed up. Yeah, okay, let's just go. I think I'll just use this the whole way there. Should be fine. Um, we're gonna go up. Oh, what is this? Oops. <laughs> oh, there's an officer there, and then... Something is wrong with my obfuscate. So yeah, there's multiple ways you can get the police report, and you can... Where am I going? This way. Oh. Is that it? You have successfully report- okay. So do I just leave? Can I open it? There's blood. Okay, I guess I'll just walk back. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, there's multiple ways you can get the police report. You can steal it, like I did. You can, uh... I think the logs... No, I think those are the ship logs. Don't touch me. Um... <laughs> you can... Where am I going? You can... Talk to the officer to get it. You can steal it off that table. And I think there was one other way, but I don't remember. And then the manifest, you can get it from the records room, and you can either lockpick the records room, or... I love how they're just all hanging around. <laughs> or you can... Some kind of symbol. Are you guys in touch you with can, the uh... Or who? Could we have it? Not immediately familiar. Oh, look, yeah. This is something you need to get squared away before anyone puts any mistakes down. Anyways. Okay, so that door's broken. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the record team, you can lockpick the door or you can open it with the computer. So. And I don't remember what happens if you sound the horn and all that stuff, but 
it doesn't really matter at this point, so. I am stuck in the door. Come on. What? Come on. Stupid doors. So, can I get off the ship without getting caught? Is that guy going to be a problem? Because, you know, there's just someone crouching and walking away. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to downtown to speak with LaCroix. So, I will meet you guys there. Welcome back to downtown. Don't know why she's there. Hey! Uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Mm, I do not see death over you anymore. Only oh, because of you. What you did for me. Here, I, I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Okay. Hmm. I always wanted a pet. Something to cradle before I sleep. Really? <laughs> I promise you won't regret it. Promise. Oh, that's kind of creepy. I'll give you money, I'll give you things, everything. I want to be important to you. Okay. Good. Go to our home, but no one can know about you, my pet. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. You fill the empty hole where my guts used to be. Until later, my pet. Okay, bye, Heather. Alright, let's go talk to LaCroix. <laughs> hey, Officer Chunk. Mr. LaCroix told me to keep an eye out for you, Coffee Cake. Said they send you right up. You know, I got a break in an hour and a fresh box of crusty creams in the back. Uh, how about on your way out? We. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. How do you fare here, my cherry gummy man? <laughs> I know, I'm Love keeping the undesirables you. out and the innocent Trust safe and secure. Me. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hardworking, decent folks. Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. As long as no crows come, the scarecrow does his job admirably. Later. Alright. I've said all I need to for now. I look lost. Hey, LaCroix. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Okay, the decks were washed with the blood of seamen. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Bloody hands crept out from within and made wonderful patterns all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Oh yes, I wondered about them all this time. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. 
It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. If it pleases you. Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. <laughs> uh, my body moves now. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. I'll be back. Alright, and this is where we're gonna leave this video, guys. So next time, I guess we'll go look for Grout. Goodbye.